it's not <laughs> quite manifested into a person, but it's it's like half shadow, half person. It's not quite manifested into a full person. But I do feel he's standing. Are you one of you guys being affected? Can any of you feel a can? Sorry, I don't know his name. Chuck in the middle. Nicky. Nicky. Yeah. Can you feel any hand on your shoulder? Is he uh, behind me? I do feel he's behind you. It's almost like he's got some sort of link with you. I think he's met you before. <laughs> Have you seen him before? It's almost like he's, he's sort of... He's not with you, but he's sort of come for you. He's sort no. of... come for you. Mm. Nice. Oh He's got a big scythe, has he? Mm. <laughs> no. I feel like he's got something to do with fire. He's, he's I'm not sure if he's been in a fire or whether he's... He's got some sort of connection with fire. I think he has been burnt. But he doesn't feel fully human. He only feels sort of half human. I can see I can see his form and it's like from his 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 as I'm looking at him, his shoulder on the right, sort of from his shoulder down to his waist is sort of what I can see. The rest of it, like his his head and his other arm is sort of a bit like a silhouette. I can't see the full, I can't see the detail in that. It's like it's it's the, the gaps filled in, but it's not there. Well, you just feel a bit dark, but it's not sinister or malicious or anything. But he's not particularly happy sort of energy. Do you think he would have travelled to, to here to see me? Yes. Oh. But I feel he, he is, he's, he's known you for a while. He is familiar with you. Could he be from another location? Possibly. So it's not malicious or anything like that. Oh. It's more of a, a, a friendship, a bond because he's, it's like he's got his hand on your shoulder, like he's got that connection like a friend. Could it be like a respect thing or something like that? Yeah. Or like someone watching over me. There is sort of like a respect and an admiration for you, but he's not, it's not like a guardian or a, He's not there to protect you. It's just, um, it's like an acquaintance, you know. He's, he's, he's sort of, he, he sort of knows you. Did he know him when he was alive? But I don't think, I don't think he's human. When I say like half human, it's that sort of like <laughs> form I can sort of see. Well, great, you'll get more like him. Is it male? Yes, definitely male. It feels like he's come from not he's not from this building. He he's, he's he has come from outside, but there is a f familiarity there. It's like when he gets the opportunity to come and see you, he will. Not for any particular reason or or. You know, it's almost like he, he's, he's come to sort of just catch up and, and see you. Does he follow around? I wouldn't say following in the sense of sort of like, you know, it's not sort of following him around, but when there's an opportunity where he can come through and see him, he will. So he, he would, you know, if they're investigating, and there's an opportunity where he can come through and see him. He will. It doesn't matter really where the location is. Can you put your hand on his shoulder then? I feel that's what you want to do. Put your hand on his shoulder and let him feel it. Let him feel that you're there. Okay. 
does he visit me at my house? Or is it only at like locations? I don't think the loc I don't think I don't think it's it's it doesn't really matter where the location is, it's more like he will come through wherever you are if there's an opportunity. Oh, okay, so yeah. So, so if I'm doing stuff in my house, you would come through then. Possibly. If I'm doing it in an old church. Possibly, but it's not a, it's not harmful or no, like no. I say it's not malicious or anything. Okay. He's show he's showing me a, a, a sword. Have you have you have you got a sword? No. Has anybody in the family got a sword? There's some sort my of dad's, connection. My dad's got a sword in like a walking stick that he got. There's, a there's, there's, it's a, he's showing me this sword and it's quite thin and sort of pointy. It's not got a massive yeah, blade it's not, on it's it. Yeah, it's not thick. No. But I feel he's got some sort of connection with that. Oh. I don't get it from an antique shop. He's got some sort of connection with this sword that's so it's probably about that long and it's quite thin long and pointy yeah it's, it's inside it's inside, inside it's sort of a, yeah. yeah and they just pull them out yeah yeah have a look at that uh, there's some oh, wow. sort of connection with that okay do you know any history to that no oh, you have to bring it in see we can do some stuff i know it's not new though it's, it's an old one yeah they, did, they used them in victorian times yeah yeah, that that feels right. That I think that's where the the, the connection is. But he has got a bond with you. From that. Yeah, I think that that sword was very. There's something about that sword that's that's important to him. Some sort of connection. But I say it doesn't sort of feel. Do you think it used to be his? Well, he, like I say, he only feels sort of half human. That sounds a bit silly, but he only, he only feels half human. He doesn't feel. If he's been some in sort a of fire, though, could he be hiding his scars? Hiding his scars, you know, if he's been disfigured because of the fire, himself. he's afraid to show show his full no, face. No, it's like that part of him. The the bit that I can't see is is isn't the hum you know it's that's not the human part of him that's weird mm. it is weird but i can't I, I i can see the human part of him but i can't see the non-human no, no, no. part of him but i can see i can see the outline but there is a link with this sword there's, there's something to do with that because that's what he's showing me this this thin long thin sword he's still there i can still see him behind you he's showing me now <coughs> he's showing me a um it's it's like a, a binoculars case like a leather sort of binoculars case it's about that big and it's got a, a sort of a flip mm. a, a, a lid that lifts up and it's sort of like a light tan color has your dad got one of those? I'm not sure. I haven't. Yeah, it might be no. worth asking him. Because okay. there's also... He, he likes that. He's, he's, it's something that he likes. So that might be worth having a look at asking okay. if anybody's got that in the family. Well, mum and dad collect antiques and they go to antique shops and they get little bits and bobs. So maybe they've got something like that, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they pick something up that's got him yeah. sort of attached to it. But this is this is like a binoculars case, and there's binoculars in it. Um, it's like he's got a fondness for you. It's it's it's. Someone's got a lot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is like a, a, an admiration, like a respect. Um, I think he admires your um, the way you look for the truth mm. um, without the bullshit. Does that make sense? That's what yeah. I'm getting without the bullshit. So how can it be 
half human, half not human. But no, maybe he's a crossbreed or some sort of hybrid or something. Maybe the other half of him is not of this world. Something new. <coughs> I do think he looks at you know he sort of keeps an eye out for you but it's not <clears throat> it's it's more he's not like a guardian or anything like that but I think he he sort of watches over you sort of a little bit mm. you don't think the binoculars were his though but he just likes them because he's seen them well he's just he's just he's just showed me them he just showed me them I feel they're connected to the sword, but maybe maybe just the connection is they're just owned by the same person and really? he likes them. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be interesting if he actually bought these binoculars with the sword. George is back. John. Okay, spirits, we are here. Scary and crying up. We're called for the spirit that came from downstairs with Mickey, the guy that's got a burnt face. Already? Come on. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. With a burnt face, half blacked out face as well. Oh, it's like a man. silhouette. Is it? Lady. Is it an evil spirit? Whoa, it's jolting. My brain. That's a jolt way. Jolt. Panic. Get back on it. Come on. So you walk around with Mickey, and you say you're there to protect him with the sword. Did you come with the sword, spirit? Because you bought that sword. You bought that sword up on the uh, seance. Does that sword have relevance to you? Yep. yep. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Okay. How fucking clear is that? So you have relevance with that sword, Mickey. <gasps> Whoa. Cremate. Cremate. So when he was maybe they burn on fire. Yeah, cremate. Cremate the burn. burning. Oh, mate. My back is frozen. Okay. So you have relevance with Mickey with the sword. You have a burnt face. Did you die in a house fire? Yes. Yes. That's on yes. Yes. Yeah, that's fucked me up. Back to the middle, please, spirit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> spirit, thank you very much for coming forward. We really appreciate this. But can we ask for a name, please? I'd love to know who you are. Who is the spirit that follows Mickey around? Is that you? D? Oh. It's you. What? Five. Was that, that Creek? What was that you? That's a chair. D. David, that's it. D. It said D, that said David. Listen, D E. Did you say David? Del. D E. Okay, whoever. See. My hands on his leg. No, well, that, I'm the only one on the board. <laughs> I'm only one on the board. D E A. A. Air. Air. I'm the only one on the board. <laughs> Look where it's going to. Dead. D E A D. Dead. It's he's dead. Are you dead? Yeah. No shit. Crisp. Crisp. I'm, did coming, you, I'm coming. I'm coming off the board. No, stay here. Stay here. Nah. Spirit. Did you come from St Crispin's? <sighs> Are you a spirit that came from St Crispin's that attached yourself to Mickey? Feel my back. Well, Feel my back. <laughs> You're freezing, aren't you? Oh, I? yeah. Spirit, did you come from St. Crispin's Mental <sighs> Asylum with Mickey? Hi. It was Japanese. Right, yes. Let's get Rich back on the board. Oh. Right, we're all back on the board. The energy is back oh, yeah. here. Who are you? Dead. Okay, so you spout out that you're dead. Are you? We know you're dead. And we know you have an attachment That's with Mickey. crazy. Okay. X. X. Who's feeling sick? Not me. I was earlier. 
me. Throw it back to the middle, please. What did that? What was that? X. X. Back, spirit, back to the middle, please. Back to the middle. Push it, mate. Can't move it to the middle. We can move spirit, it. Spirit, can we speak to the spirit? Sorry, can we speak? Yes. Can we speak to the alarm? I'd like to know the name of the person, the male half-human spirit that follows me around or comes to see me. Just so I know who you are. Who follows Mickey? Come on, Spirit, use the energy on the board. Who follows Mickey? Who looks after Mickey? Come on, you were downstairs in a seance, you showed yourself, which means you've got energy. And you've told us you're dead on this board. Yeah, we know you're dead, but who is your name? F? All right, that's moving, that's moving. O. It's Q. It's Q. Where's that Q? A Q F Q F Q F Q. Are they your initials? Yeah. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck Are you. you trying to say fuck you? It's just laughing. It's just laughing. Spirit. Old man. He said, "Old man." Spirit, are you degrading us? But saying fuck you. Insulting us. Warrior. Are you a warrior? I don't really like this spirit. If you come round and follow me around, because I do stuff in my bedroom. <laughs> and me too. Spirit, spirit, do you watch Mickey in his bedroom? Here. Who's watching you here? Yeah. Spirit, do you watch Mickey every time of the day? Oh, don't move that. Fuck off. <laughs> Is it you? Back to the middle. Don't move planchets. Back to the middle. Spirit. Spirit, is Mickey a naughty boy? No, I do spirit investigation. He's not a naughty boy. In my bedroom. Back to me. With Janet. I do stuff with Janet. So in my room. you work with Janet, he works with Janet. Spirit. Cut. Janet's in a <laughs> What? Jan Janet's in a case. He said spirit. He said what? Okay, Jan spirit, can we have a name for the spirit that follows Mickey that came through downstairs? Please, can you give us a name? Confused. Are you confused, spirit? Peace. Peace. We, we mean nothing but peace to you as well. Yeah. Oh, I do, anyway. Oh, yeah. If it's going to follow me to my bedroom, hey, Mike, then no, I don't want it to <laughs> be pissed off. Come on, spirit. Show yourself next to Mickey. If this is the guardian angel or someone that sits with Mickey, Follows him everywhere. Show yourself on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Out. End. End. There you go. Finished. I'm out. End. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, spirits. Wow. That was brilliant. You can't get better than that. What's going on? Wow. Goodbye. Wow. That said, I'm out, end. Yeah. That was a that was fit. I'm great, out great. on one and end on another. Yeah, that thing. was amazing. I was listening to that. So, guys, I have the sword. This is the sword that Jane was on about. Now, my dad's had this for a while now. It was given to him by a lady when he used to be a gas man and he worked in her house and she said that she had a sword that she didn't want and did my dad want it so yeah it's apparently i've done some research on it well rich did from west london paranormal cheers rich it's an 1845 officer sword so yeah going to do some work with this apparently this is the sword that the spirit that comes to me when i do paranormal investigations and anything linked with the paranormal this person is here half man half creature so i don't know whether this is his sword and he has followed the sword so we're going to find out try and do some bits and bobs 
Um, yeah, see what happens. Just going to work with it. Going to use Necrophonic today because I think that works quite well with objects inside the house. In the setup, a cat ball as well. Or a motion ball, as it were, not a cat ball. Because cat ball sounds weird, doesn't it? Okay, if um, the person, we'll call it a person, if you're here with me, you have followed the sword, you are with me whenever I do paranormal investigations, anything to do with the paranormal, you are here, you are with me, if you are here now, are you able to come forward please? I wish to speak to you. Is that possible to do? So, do you like the sword? Did you follow the sword? So, my name is Mickey. As you probably know, I would like I would like to know who you are please me can you tell me your name broth you must you must have a name if you are with me Ms Janet hello Janet Were you in the war? In the military? Are you able to touch the sword? Please. Go on then. have a message for me. What is it? Please. Keep saying please. Are you angry you don't have the sword anymore? Let's put it there. If you want to try and pick it up. Did you follow me to the Haunted Antiques Museum? Ow. You were standing behind me. <laughs> sit down. I was sat down, you were behind me. Jane saw you. to know who you are we could have a mutual agreement I don't mind you follow me around but I would really like to know who you are though did you walk the earthly plane yes okay so what happened how are you half human you followed it with my dad and then you found out what I do what I speak to spirits and dead people people that have passed and then you were able to, to speak to me or to follow me to interact at some point. See, I'm thinking you were an officer, you got injured badly, you went into a dark place, 
and you let something in. Uh, true. Oh wow. And over time, half of that negativity took over your body, your spirit. So when Jane saw you, half creature, half human, that is why. Did you used to hold this sword with pride? You used to sit with it. You're an officer. No, you didn't. Hmm. Help. Well, I'm going to go now. And I'd like you to give me a last message before I turn this off. If you want to give me something to... To think about a name, a message. You can do so now, please. Oh, there you go. First contact with the sword that I never even knew my dad had. So that's amazing what Jane picked up. Next, onto the binoculars because we have them as well. So guys, it's another day and time to investigate those binoculars. Now these are the ones in question. When I came home from the Haunted Antiques Paranormal Research Centre, I spoke to my dad, obviously. I spoke to him about the swords and I spoke to him about the binoculars. Now... These are the binoculars that my dad has owned for many, many years. Now, this is apparently leather case. Like Jane said, binoculars inside. Very old. He likes the demon, half-human creature. Likes to look at these. Now, I didn't even know where these were. And I spoke to my dad... And he said they were his dad's, so my granddad's. Which I never knew, because Jane didn't know anything about me, personally. Not friends with her on Facebook or anything like that. You can't search what items my dad owns. <laughs> I, I knew he had a sword, as you saw in the video. Didn't know about binoculars. So that, for me, is a wow for Jane. Now... In the video, while we were at the seance, I originally thought it was a sword from a walking stick. As I said, very thin, like, like Jane said. But I established, after speaking to my dad, that it would have been this sword. Because my dad has owned that for many years, and he got it a long time ago. But the sword in the walking stick he's only had since like last summer. So, like I said in the video earlier, this entity, demon, creature, human, whatever it is, whoever it is, has been with me for a long time. It cannot be the wooden walking stick. It has to be the officer's sword that my dad was currently cleaning, had it out from wherever he kept it, I don't know. And today we are going to investigate the binoculars case. See if we can get some information from it. They are going to be placed on my dad's chair in the living room. Because it's the connection to my dad. So this is my dad's chair. Here's the binoculars. I might take them out of the case. Okay, that's the case. There's the binoculars. As you can see, they're very small. And they adjust like this. So you can see. So they're very old, antique. Probably early 1900s, I'd say. I'm going to turn the Alice box on. Because I'm going to go with as much communication as possible in this uh, final part of the video to try and get some real answers. Turn the K2 on. 
Does that affect it? No. I'm also going to run the Necrometer app in text mode. Only. We have maybe on here. Another way of communication. I'm going to be using the Polticom Pico Spirit Box just to see if there's anything here around me that wants to chat. So I've got all bases covered, really. So here we go. Um. Um. So if there's anybody, if there's anybody here that wants to chat, I ask you to come forward. I'm after the entity that is attached to these items, please. Bang. Duration. Steamy. Bang steamy. Okay. Creature that is attached to me personally, apparently. I ask you to come forward, come and speak to me. Uncertain. You're uncertain to come through. You don't need to worry. Jane said you don't mean me any harm. So that's good. You're just curious about what I do. And you seem to really like these objects. Film. Clip. I am film. Film a clip. Are you going to do something then? When we were in the seance, she said you were behind me with your hand on my shoulder, but not as a guardian, not as a watcher, but for, as somebody just to, like a companion. Do you like these? Perhaps. Perhaps you told Jane that you like these. You like looking at them. You like the case. Is that right? Tom. Tom. Is that who you are? Is your name Tom? Hello Tom, if that's who you are. Is that the earth name that you go by? Now I know about you. It's it's really good for me to interact with you. Play. Play. You want to play, do you? Vincent East Bank. What's the sound gone? What's up to the spirit box? Reach. Reach? That's weird, the spirit box disappeared. So I've got a run pod here. You don't Glance. Hear it? Glance. You looking, are you? So I'll put that in between the case and the binoculars. You just have to go near it. Can you do that? What's wrong with this? Where's the sound gone? Weird. No. What the hell? You mean what? What's going on, Tom? What's happening? What are you doing? Move east. That said on the the Alice box earlier. Dead. Move. That said east, didn't it earlier? Dead. So we've had east on the Alice box. Whoa. Oh, that's my phone. Don't worry. Sorry. I've got the app on. A loved one, and we've had. 
and we've had move east on here. Right footed stuff. That's weird, this wasn't going, that wasn't going off earlier when I placed it there. Cobbles on the butt. Was it? That's very strange. We'll put it on aeroplane mode as you can see. No signal now. It shouldn't be interfering. Um, thank you Spirits for using the Necrometer app. I am now going to use Necrophonic like we did no. the other day. So I'm going to Skip. Right, so we're, we're using ne Necrophonic now. We believe your name is Tom, but it's con connected with these items. My name is Mickey, as you probably know. Apparently you, you watch over me. System. System. Hot system. Gone. Gone? Who's gone? Do you have a connection with my dad? Drop. Drop. Be gone. Do you have a connection with my dad, John? Did you follow the sword? Did you follow the binoculars? Do you follow me? Fuck sake. Yeah. Right, so. So at the moment, where I am, did you follow the sword? No. Did you follow binoculars? No. Do you follow me? Yes. Twice. So where I am at the moment in my head, maybe this entity has attached itself. He. He. Yes, he. He has attached himself to me, comes to my house when I do stuff, wherever I am. And what happened, he saw my dad maybe moving the binoculars at one point. Maybe he saw my dad working on the sword, cleaning the sword. Because these binoculars are very, very old. They were owned by my granddad originally. I don't know where he got them from. Hidden. hidden. What is hidden, please? Can you tell me? What is hidden? Are you hidden? Do you hide yourself? What is hidden? Who's divided? Us? What are you divided over? Can you tell me? You! Oh my god! Divided over me. What the hell? Oi, what are you shouting at me? Give me an attitude. Did you hear how clear that was? Wow. And I have a Polaroid camera. I'm going to take a, a picture of these items 
of our setup and hopefully anything will come through and show itself on a picture. Come in. Who's come in? Dad. Dad! Dad! Oh my God! It says Dad. I am literally on my dad's chair with my dad's. What's oh, a bit? See with, with my dad's items. Oh my God! What the hell? Fuck me. Right, so I have that set up. Dad again. Did that just say suicide? Wow. Hello? So I'm now going to take a photo of this. Does anyone hear? I ask you to come in forward. Kurt. Kurt. C-U-R-T. That's a weird way of spelling Kurt. Any spirit in this room, connection with any of these items, I am now going to take a photograph. I would ask you to come forward and show yourself in this photo. Can you do that, please? Three, two, one. Gone. gone? What's gone? Deal. Deal? Thank you, Tom, Vincent, or whoever you are, whatever your name is. I thank you so much for your communication on the Necrophonic app and also the Alice box. Items are now being turned off. So what do you guys reckon? Are these items connected to me, connected to my dad, connected to some half creature, half human, half demon? I will now go back and look at all the footage, go listen through all the responses on both sessions with the sword and also the binoculars. And I will make my conclusion. So here is the Polaroid picture I took. Unfortunately, nothing is in the picture. So, yeah. so there you go, guys. What do you reckon? Is there a half creature, half demon connected to the binoculars or the sword? Me personally, after working with them, they don't seem to be that connected. I personally think that this creature, possibly Tom, Tom came through a couple of times. So this creature, Tom, is attached to myself or comes to see me when I'm working with spirit, paranormal, etc., And I just think he likes these objects in my house. That's it. Because I'm living with my parents at the moment. Maybe that is why. Or he's just trying to build a connection. Because as a way of proving, yes, I am with Mickey. Because I can tell you what's in his house. Now, for me, that's, that's more amazing than him being linked with the sword or the binoculars. Now, obviously the sword came from a lady that my, that my dad worked in her house and the binoculars came from my granddad, my dad's dad. But who knows, I am going with the fact that it's this, this creature Tom is connected to me, comes to see me and he just used the items as a way of proving himself. That's just my opinion. We had some good responses on the bits of equipment and at the Haunted Antiques Paranormal Research Centre as well. We're after the initial seance with Jane, 
So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think he's connected to me? Or he is in fact connected to the items. Now, this is not my normal sort of video. So I hope you don't mind it. Like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you are, hello, my name is Mickey. Lots of paranormal videos, lots of haunted locations with various teams, lots of more videos on the way. Just letting you know there's more on the way. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.